G'day everyone, welcome back to another botched recording of Ukulele with me, Rajan Fox. Now, that may sound like a strange opening for you guys, but let me reassure you it is completely accurate because I've just gone through, done half an hour's worth of recording, only to find that the last five minutes of it is all I got. Uh, so, apologies on that front. But, I'm here to quickly race through and just catch you up quickly on what I have actually done. Uh, so, going through that door over there pretty much led to nothing. Because uh, I needed an ability to go through on that one. Alright. So I came through. Um, I did not go that way. Holy shit this time though. But... No, I came along here. Alright, so I got to this point up here. And as you stand on this, this Ian rotates rather nice. And the idea of this section was I'll come along here, grabbing this, which spits water, and I had a very short time period in order to use it. But I had to get back here, rotate this along, come to here, jump on this to raise up, and then I had to jump over and sprout some water into him. Um, and he thanks me by giving me a pagey. So, okay, so here we go. And we come back this way. Ran along here. Alright, so we got to this point where I discovered a new enemy right here. He will possess, you know, the an inanimate. Whoa, there's a word. Inanimate object, um, such as these little totems here. There he goes, and they will attack. So you just gotta keep attacking, break that, and kill the eyes. I did very poorly to demonstrate there, but I actually just suck at the killing those things in general anyway, so that was pretty accurate. Uh, right here was a ghost. As you can see down below, I now have the red one. Uh, he was like a bull, basically. Um, he would charge at you. And so long as he didn't hit you, would then turn orange, so I could damage him. So that was cool. Then we came to here with the big cloud. It was a very friendly cloud. And uh, I had to make him rain. <laughs> so, in order to do that, grab these. And there we go. Mm, Bimbo's been holding that for ages. And thus we get more water because, you know, that's what we need. And then he starts to look grumpy. Not entirely sure why. And of course, um, you know, we've got these ones here. Which, pew, pew, pew. As you can hear the old jingle bell town. Shibble! And he gets chilly. That's caused a movement. And the water freezes. Uh, 
And there we go, he's all shivery. And then finally, we have these fun fruits, which I'm sure we can all guess what this does. Dragon Breath! So, we remember that. That's Vapor went straight through Nimble. He goes back to Rainy. And of course, I'm sure I could do it again and the water would dry up. And then, after ground panning on this button here, this opened up. To which I could then forward my way through. Back down to here. Uh, once again, it was very upsetting on the fact that I have lost all this recording, so you're just getting the quick run through. At least until I get to the point where there's the last five minutes. Came through here. Alright. And basically collected a few quills, hit this button, and uh, that treasure chest over there, as you can see, I do jump through some rings along to get to here, keep it going, and there we go. There is the chest. Do not be fooled. Uh, as easy as I made that look, I actually had to try that a whole heap of times. Which was not a good thing. Ah. Uh, okay, so another thing I did is I have come through and yes, I did fall last time too. But I, I've done that middle part there. Um, it was just activate the you know invisible platforms, make them standable, and uh, just circle around. Had to do it for about three or four of them. Um, I, I will not bother going to show that again because hey who wants to watch me keep falling again? So I came up this way and we had Shovel Knight which we got to speak to. Happy adventuring friends! I'm sure our paths will cross again. <laughs> In your game, hopefully, I wouldn't mind hoarding some of that gold. So yes, um, to anyone that doesn't know about who Shovel Knight is, he's not from this game. He's more of a reference from another game. Uh, but for him, we had to basically come along these platforms. Yeah, I got. Um, yeah. Climb the platforms all the way along. Which, let's just go along. Okay, so we got to this point, and then you quickly do that. And, you know, shoot those to freeze these. That. That's a little too steep. Okay, so when I get to the top of this, we'll be back to where I my recording you know, kind of started up again, so I will leave you with that. Enjoy! Oh, okay. Oh, come on! There we go. So there's one. It's a little steep, but might be able to do it. Yep. Nope. There we go. That should do it. 
That one was perfect. That one was pretty damn good. And that one was a little steep. Oh, hello. No. There. And there. And. Okay. Don't fall off the ledge. Okay, do we shatter the eye then? Okay. I. Ah, oh, that was it. Great work, friends! You retrieved my jewel. Now, bring it back here! Okay, nothing hidden in there. <laughs> so there's no like hidden little tidbits off to the sides. Oh, they're just. That looks like this so could be. But all right. So we'll pop down here, through here. Curious. Anything at all. Uh, nothing at all? Oh, that's a shame. As you can see, I am generally the type to break the bounds of the games. If you hadn't been able to tell that already. Well, I'll just go visit Shovel Knight. We've recovered the jewel, Shovel Knight. Oh ho! Impressive! I can't wait to exchange it for piles of gold. Oh ho! Oh ho! Yo, oh ho now, oh ho, as ho. promised, here's the secret to adventuring success. Fascinating! Ha ha ha! It is a baby. Yo ho! Oh. All you need is a map and the thirst for adventure. This guy's humor is as flat as his pixelated treasure. Yeah! yeah. Woohoohoohoo! Hello, I have just discovered... Taunts! Oh, that is cool. Ah, no, don't cry. Happiness. Okay. So, that was cool. Um, but yeah. Back to as I was originally doing. That's going to be it for this world for now. I shall return, rest assured. Uh, but for now, I'm interested in checking out some more that this game has to offer. And unfortunately, as I see now, I'm running out of time for this one. So, it worked out quite well. Alright, so we're back in Ivory Towers and I will be checking for the next level in the next episode. For now, I am Roger Fox, hope you've enjoyed it, and as always, stay furry out there. <laughs>